metal snouts. Let's see if we can fix that. That's better. Good morning everybody. It's a little bit foggy. It's two ways to do beans, so we're gonna get ready to do corn. Now we got a lot to do. We're gonna attempt to uh, run the first bushels of corn into the new grain leg. I don't know if that's gonna happen today or not. We've got a couple things we've got to get done this morning. Uh, probably be tomorrow in all honesty. It's pretty wet from the rain we got this weekend. So we've got plenty of stuff to do, so we're gonna go ahead and get to it. All right, some of the things we got to do before we can run the corn here. We use this gravity wagon to catch fines out of the cleaner. We've got to get it set, get that pipe to it. We got to make sure the airlock on the air system is not froze up. Sometimes it'll freeze up, and I mean, you just got to kind of pry it back and forth. And might even have to soak it in gasoline. We'll see. Uh, this place is still a mess. They're not done with the electric work. Leg is not completely done. We don't have any way to load out yet, but we are going to be able to dump grain in. That's kind of the kind of temporary for now. They are going to come back. I don't know, once we get back to beans or once they get a chance, put us a downspout in and tie all the bins together. Uh, we got to get the water out of the pit. The pit filled up with water. I mean, the actual conveyor itself has water in it, not the bottom of the pit. Uh, we will have a cover over that at some point. We just don't yet. Master electrician, he's going to come over at some point and uh, make sure we all know what buttons do what. Because we haven't seen it run. They ran it while we were doing corn or beans or something. Beans, I think. So, yeah, plenty to do. And we need one more load of gravel. A little bit of water in there. Oh, yeah. Where are we going? Over there. One thing's for sure. The wind ain't going to catch that. If anybody wants to come steal that for scrap iron, they're at least going to get a hernia first. Dang. One other thing I want to do is clean out this building. This place looks like a bomb went off in it. There's not a whole lot I can do about that back there. That's master electrician's deal. But all this stuff up here needs to get moved, organized, taken out. Got rid of all that kind of stuff. One other thing I want to do real quick, I want to put this MXT 400 Midland radio in here. With that radio, whoever's run, dumping grain should be able to talk to us in the combine or anybody on the trucks, anywhere on our operation. Eventually, I'm going to have some coax all the way to the top of the grain leg, all the way back down to here. But for now, I've just got the antenna on top of this building, which should be plenty for everything around here. Should easily be able to get 10 miles to 20 miles out of that radio. And everything we have is within like seven, so. Should work pretty good. I'm running that through a lawnmower battery and a trickle charger. These things are meant to run on uh, 12 volt current or like DC current. Yeah, DC current. So that's way cheaper than buying an inverter because that battery's 20 bucks and that trickle charger is 10 bucks. So works pretty good. All right, got this thing set up. There's the radio. There's the battery. There's the trickle charger. So that's what we're doing over at the uh, office. It's been working great for a year now, so it should work. If you're interested in an MXT 400 or the MXT 115 or 275 or the handhelds we use, all those are in the video description. I've been getting a lot of questions on CBs lately, so you can check those out there if you want. All right, BJ got all the water out of there while I was messing with that radio, so I'm gonna put that grate down there and move on to the airlock. Hey. Still got all of our fingers and toes. Where's the fun in that? All right, so this is the airlock over here. I guess I should start by saying this bet dryer dumps through a blower system. So what that means is corn is going into the front of the dryer, it's getting dried, and then corn is trickling through this air system constantly. It's called a continuous flow dryer. The airlock's what meters it into the air pipe. And I don't know, like right now there's a little bit of water in the bottom of that. We gotta vacuum that out, make sure everything's turning free, and uh, then it should be ready to run corn, hopefully. We should probably grease the dryer too. This is going to start getting confusing. I think this one's mine. Yep. I'm going to let that thing soak. Got to replace the tarp on this gravity wagon. Like BJ said, I think it's got another year in it. What do you guys think? But we put that tarp on there because when the fines are coming out of that cleaner, they're basically in a, they're like dust. So, I mean, there'll be just a big pile of chicken feed is what it looks like. If we don't have that, even with the tarp, I mean, there'll be stuff getting out. We should probably just build a top for this thing because we replace the tarp at least once or twice a year, but we just never have. These tarps are brought to you by Harbor Freight, but we paid for them. Wow. Oh, Cole. Could use some help. 
going to interest anybody in a slightly used tarp. Real cheap. Pretty sure that's 100 proof. We're getting our corn mash out of here before we put that tarp back on here. Didn't realize it had this much in it, otherwise I guess we would have tried cleaning it out before we pulled it up to the fence. Actually the revenue man's on our on our tail, so we're trying to get away. No, trying to find happens. trying to find a place out in the woods. I mean it's literally alive. There's some there's some there's some maggots. Good stuff. Now I understand why dad was laughing when he said, Oh yeah, clean out the gravity wagon. Thanks, Dad. There's the dry stuff. That's what this is supposed to look like. Apparently the front of the tarp didn't have any holes in it or as, or as many holes in it. The back looks pretty pretty rough. The real question is, is BJ going to puke when he gets in there to clean the rest of it out? I wonder if it's too late to ask Umferfurt for a gravity wagon demo. All right, dropping this wagon off. We got to head over home. I got to go grab a trailer. Then we got to head over to the other grain bins. All right, the thing I'm going after is a corn head. Found a deal on a little bit newer a little bit nicer corn head than this one, a lot more field ready than this one. So I'm going after it. It's, uh, it's 10 years newer, it's a lot better shape. Not a whole lot more money. So get this thing on the gooseneck, put it on the gooseneck so we can pull it quicker and we can get back here sooner. I'm using dad's combine to load this thing because his feeder house has more adjustment than mine. He can tilt his where mine's manual, but I don't know that we have enough tilt. We might have to go find a ditch somewhere to help do this. We're pretty good at throwing heads on header wagons, not so much on goosenecks. You got it. Nobody breathe, nobody touch it. Kind of think if it falls off going down the road, we just go home real fast. Yep, push, push, push. Should have ate your Wheaties. Yeah. You millennials get that? Go and see if we can't push that head on up there just a little bit since my brother couldn't quite handle it. When dad moved his head up, he couldn't get this side over here. This is Mare Farm Equipment in Wilmington, Ohio. They basically specialize in used combines, primarily John Deere. They do have, get, you know, an occasional Klaus or uh, Case combine, but they've got a used eight-row head here. So that's what we're picking up. Look at that camera. There's a lot of green paint around here. We're sitting right there recording. Now we're taking this head over to the grain bins, the other grain bins, the new one. Supposedly we're going to be running corn in that tomorrow. That's the plan. So I want to meet dad over there. We've got a couple things we need to go over and then we're going to unload this head back onto the header wagon over to the other farm. Yep, just pulled into the farm here. I was going for two hours. What did you do? I painted the combine. And like I said, we are going to dump corn here tomorrow. So this will be the first time we've ever started the lake. We're going to go over and start it. works. Kenny Sims, the guy that owns the construction company that built the bins, he's going to come down here tomorrow. He said he wanted to be here when we uh, dump the first loads, make sure all our amperages are right. All that kind of stuff, make sure everything's going to run like it's supposed to. But as of now, tomorrow, we are dumping corn here. Let's see if we can get this thing off here without dropping it. Now this head was run on a John Deere combine. Like it had an adapter plate and a different hookup. So hopefully everything's there. I'm kind of questioning something that on the single point hookup now. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Got it. Does that work? I got to come loose. So. Got the bearings in there. If it gets dirty in there, it needs to blow it out. That blows. Yeah, well, Dad, what do you think? Oh, I think you got a good deal. Ain't very big. Oh, it's only eight rows in. You got a bigger auger, got a bigger head. Jeez. Mine folds. Mine is slow compared to this. It ain't wide. Always oh, folded up. Mine's more rigid. We got a hole. That's extra ventilation. It's custom. See there, it's got green paint on it, so now I can tag John Deere in this video. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We've got some big stuff happening tomorrow. We are going to be running corn. We're going to be dumping the first bushels into the new leg, and there's going to be some other exciting stuff. So 
I'm going to head home, eat some dinner, start editing film. So Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Views, Facebook at Brown Farms. Remember, if you follow us on Instagram, you're going to see some of this stuff two days before you see it in the videos. So go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.